Coming up on today's video. I walk through a door. She opens a door. And he unpacks toilet paper. And there goes another one. What is so essential that is in that store? Hi there, my name is Nigel and this is a COVID-19 uh, Niagara region special for my YouTube channel, Nigel's Cheap Vlogs. This is Niagara. And now I have a dog coming up to me and he wants to attack me. Hello, little dog. See? I've been on the road quite a bit last few days and I've seen a lot of people not adhering to the warnings. <laughs> What is so essential that is in that store? In fact, that's a senior going in. I mean, really, if you're a senior, I'd be staying at home. This is the last place I want to be right now, going in there, touching picture frames and arts and crafts and getting it all over myself. Oh, there's another one running out. Get some common sense, folks. Enough. <laughs> As you can see from behind me, uh, the brick. The brick is open. Apparently, they're immune to um, coronavirus, uh, COVID-19. Uh, apparently, they don't care. They just want their money. Uh, they're completely going against the advisory of the health officials and the government right now to try and close these premises down for the time being. They are not an essential service, but yet they're still trading doors wide open, trying encouraging people to come and shop. As you can see, YISC is open. I actually thought it was closed. Uh, the sign's off, but as you can tell, door's open, shop is open. I just watched a couple of people come out. Is it an essential store? No. Over the past few days, I've been out and about across the region, checking many places out. And I uh, just got a little video uh, for you here to show of St. Catharines I took the other day and how quiet it is. Checking out St. Catharines down here on the main main road and as you can tell from what I'm showing you there isn't really much going on uh, a lot of the shops are now closed signs in most of the windows are closed due to COVID-19 uh, the reality of what's transpiring throughout Ontario and the rest of the world is really taking a hit on everyone I think and uh, this is usually a fairly busy street in St. Catharines especially full of uh, students and people from the banking industry just up there, um, but there's nothing. Still a few people commuting around, but uh, not many at all. Probably about this time of day, this normal, this place would be quite busy. Uh, people coming out of university, coming out of college, school, uh, work and so on. Uh, today, getting close to four o'clock, no one. Now this is something I like to see. Uh, the Zares supermarket here in St. Catharines at Fairview Mall is very well stocked on a lot of stuff. Something I didn't see yesterday at some of the stores in Niagara Falls but here is a lot of stuff, a lot of fruit and veg. Really good to see.
they are missing a few tins. And I think that security zone B might be for me, so I think I'll get out of here pretty quick. So that security call in there was for me, and they're a bit uncomfortable with me uh, recording in there. I explained I'm doing it for the good reason of the uh, community, giving, keep everyone in touch. The guy was actually really, really nice. He just made it clear though it was the company itself which is kind of having a hard time, I guess, with people videoing or taking photographs of things, which I kind of understand, but at the end of the day, I got what I've been looking for for a while. A yeast, we can now make bread at home. And there's only two other sachets, packets of this left. So I'm pretty proud of myself. And one thing I did notice over the past few days is a lot of people are still shopping. If you saw the news yesterday, you would have seen that EV Games uh, got into a lot of bother uh, for releasing a new video game which drew loads of crowds into Toronto and many of their stores across the region. Uh, I actually went to EV Games in Niagara Falls and this is what I saw. These buggers can't usually get out of the basement, but now we have a pandemic, they've decided to crawl out of their basements and go and get a new video game. If you thought EB Games was bad, the shop just two doors up from them. This is what's transpiring there. This is a little time-lapse video I put together just showing you how many people were going in and out of this store on a regular basis. Well, if you like what you see today, make sure you like and subscribe as always to share it with other people. And I'm gonna leave you now with a great montage of the new norm for now. The government has received the advice of Ontario's Chief Medical Officer of Health and the COVID-19 command table, recommending that the province close down all public elementary, middle and high schools for two weeks following March break. Bars and uh, restaurants, eateries are uh, now closed, serving nobody. How long uh, is this going to go on for, we wonder? <laughs>